Hello and welcome to the new episode of the AWS Training for Beginners. Siavis is here. In the previous tutorials, we've learned how to launch an AWS Linux 2 instance, set up the LAMP over it, make it secure by using a TLS and SSL certificate, and now it's time we installed the PHP My Admin as a last tutorials of this series before we start working on other AWS services. First of all, open your favorite browser. And before we log into AWS console, let's take a look at the domain that we set the DNS for it uh, to point to our Amazon EC2 instance. Let's take a look. The domain name I registered for test was CryptoSecNetwork.com. As you can see, that it just points to our Apache and the SSL TLS certificate is up and running. So the website is secure. So we can freely start to installing our PHP My Admin. Now point to AWS.Amazon.com and logging with the root users we created. Here we go, I got the password saved. And as you can see, we have a tab for recently visited the service of AWS EC2. Other way we can access using that uh, general search, but the standard way, just click on a service, under compute, go to EC2, and we have a one instance in a running, running status, which is our LAMP server. So select that and just copy that the public IP address, open the body for your any terminal you like. And let me just call the key we've created. And okay, yep, I just copy, I don't know. I just double check that and just SSH to the LAMP server. Log in as a EC2 user as a standard Amazon Linux 2. And let me change the appearance, just increase the phone size and terminal windows for you. Here we go, that's much better. You can see that. So we need to install uh, the required dependency and just sudo yum install php that mb string and dash y for um, say yes for installation. Again, I put all these commands there for in the comments for you. Let me zoom in. Here we go, sudo yum install dash y php dash mb string and here we go installation is getting done within a second and uh, just uh, let's restart the apache for that let me clear that sudo systems ctl restart httpd and also let's restart the php dash fpm Take a closer look at the commands, sudo systemctl restart httpd and php dash, which is php fast process manager. Now we are good to navigate to the Apache document root, which is located at slash var, that slash dot 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 slash html. So use the cd to go there. And we are looking at the source package for the latest php my admin release. The latest release is available on a PHP My Admin website. Uh, the URL is phpmyadmin.net slash downloads. And you can see that all the um, latest release of the PHP My Admin in this page. So let's use the wget to download the latest release. And take a look, wget. And we are just going to take it from the, the PHP My Admin site and just put the latest all language, compress file. After download the latest version of PHP, we just need to create the directory. It's called PHP My Admin and extract the package into that directory. So using the following command. Here is the command mkdar php my admin. Just make sure that's a case sensitive and just extract the package to that directory. Let's take a ls and take a look at what we have in our folder. And 
uh, just a good idea to just delete the compressed file and make sure that it's gone. We only have one directory called PHP my admin. So now we just get the status of our MariaDB. This is uh, actually running because in previous video we just make it as a running service. So now if we go back to our browser and just uh, put the URL, our domain name, forward slash PHP my admin, and remember that's case sensitive, uh, we should see the PHP my admin login page. We can log in to our PHP my admin by using the root username and the MySQL root password we've created earlier on previous video. So now let me um, fetch the password that we have created. I've um, just saved the password which we created with the password generator. And just root the password and we are in. So that's just we can see that all the databases, the related table within each database. So just this tutorial is not really going to teach you how to use PHP My Admin, but just always can uh, refer to PHP My Admin user guide for more information on how to use this service. Again, this is not too much related to the AWS services, but uh, since it's a part of our um, installation of our Linux, installation of the LAMP, and finally just, just want to have a complete tutorial for you. Now we have up and running LAMP server, which is secured, and we have uh, the backend application to manage our databases. Uh, please leave your comments. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel and watch, learn, subscribe, and share, and see you soon.